Hi everyone, I am Mohammad Kathawala from Hotfix Commerce. In this video, we will see how to register a module in View Storefront when you are using the VSF Capybara theme. So here I am using the View Storefront version 1.12.0 along with the VSF Capybara theme. You you might be knowing that uh, with the version 1.12.0, you actually need to manually install the default or vsf capybara theme uh, uh separately or you can do it through cli so you, you either need to manually install it or you can do it through cli so if you don't know how to manually install the capybara theme with vsf 1.12.0 you can go through my video that is install use storefront with 1.12.0 with capybara theme okay so let's get started. You can see here I have created a new module here under SRC slash modules folder that is example module which is given under the documentation the official documentation of view storefront. Let me open that first. So if you see here under building a module from scratch they have given the steps to register your module i have followed the same steps here so here i have created my module with the interface storefront module and in that i have registered my store with the root store of the view storefront now according to the fifth step of the documentation you can see here you need to register your module under the src slash modules uh, index.ts file like this but yeah with the uh, with the new version uh, they have changed this index.ts file to client.ts file so we have the client.ts file here under the modules folder and i have registered my module here as given in the documentation example module and here I have used the register module to register my module. Now, if you can see here on the live site, I have uh, running it on my local host. So you can see here under the view developer tools, view X tab, it shows all the stores which are registered under the root store of the view storefront and you can see here our example module store is not registered yet so let's see why it is not working here under if you can see under the uh, themes slash vsf capybara folder we have modules.ts file under the config directory so this file has the same structure which we have under the uh, client.ts file it also registers all the modules in the same way which we do in the client.ts file now let's register our module here and try to do it so i'll import the example module RC slash modules slash And I'll register this module under here. I'll use the register module method. Register the example module here.
okay now let's see here on the browser let it get compiled first Oh, sorry. I've made a silly mistake here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so again, it's compiling. Okay, if I refresh my browser now, and if we see under the UX tab of View Developer Tools, You can see here we have the example module registered with the given store data which we have registered so yeah it's working now so this was the difference which we need which we need to follow when we want to register the module when we are using the VSF Kpivara theme so the reason why it is working like this is if you see under the VSF Kpibara folder, we have the webpack.config.js file here under VSF Kpibara. So this file does nothing but it extends the core configs which we have of view under view storefront and uh, it registers all the extended configs for the VSF Kpibara theme. And in this file, you can see here at the last, they have this line to resolve an alias which is src slash modules slash client to theme root slash config slash modules so what uh, this line does basically is whenever we use this path of src slash modules slash client which is client.ts files path it will resolve it to theme root slash config slash modules file which is our uh, which is nothing but our modules.ts file which we just saw so this is the reason why we need to actually register more our module under modules.ts file and yeah uh, the reason why they have done this is uh, they uh, what uh, they actually want to want us to register our module under the modules.ts file of vsf kpivara theme so that we don't need to change uh, the code of the uh, view storefront directory and we actually can decide uh, which modules we actually want to use when we are using the KP Bharati. So if you don't want the payment cash on delivery modules module to be used in uh, when you are using the KP Bharati, you can remove it from here and it will not be registered so that's the reason why they have for why they have given this approach to keep it under to keep it user specific when the user uses the kpibara theme so that was the change which we actually need to do when we use the kpibara theme and when we want to register our module Okay, thank you guys. Thanks for watching.